Hey, this is Anthony from Revzilla. We watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our 2017 Motorcycle Helmet Gear Guide at Revzilla.com. In this video, we're gonna break down the top 10 helmets for 2017. We're covering different applications, different styles, and certainly different price points. And again, this is based on our riding, our research, and our expert opinion. And today, we're breaking it down into two tables of five. We're gonna start with the best of what's new, which are gonna be the best new releases for the spring of 17. And we're gonna follow that up with the best staples, which are tried and true, multi-season, the Goldilocks of what we see from all key riding styles and categories. Keep in mind, this is part of our larger gear guide series, revzilla.com slash guides, 17 guides curating the best of the moto industry for 2017. Helmets, jackets, boots, gloves, we cover it all whether you're just starting out or you're looking to make an upgrade. Now, kicking off our new table for 17, this is the best new entry-level helmet protection technology. This is a Bell Qualifier DLX, now there's a MIPS version, M-I-P-S, Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. So for around the $270 mark, you're still getting a great everyday universal sport helmet Helmet, intermediate oval in its head shape, transitions lens, upgraded interior, but now MIPS allows you to have a better chance of mitigating the impact on a rotational crash. It's actually a slip plane between the EPS and the comfort liner. Watch that detail breakdown video, but again, it is a new protection technology. When you see MIPS, it's stolen from the dirt world for low speed and angular crashes. Moving from everyday sport, now we're gonna dive into our best new premium sport helmet. This is the Arai Signet X and its sister helmet, the Quantum X. They basically are improving for 2017 on the Signet Q and the RXQ by blowing them away. They've upgraded the ventilation scheme, upgraded the interior, they've upgraded the aerodynamic profile and the visibility. And what they've done in a Signet X, it's going to be long and narrow. And in a Quantum X, it's going to be fully round. Again, around three and a half pounds, Snell DOT rated north of the $600 mark. But again, when I think premium sport, I think sport riding, sport commuting, sport touring. Again, you can't go wrong with a Signet X or a Quantum X. Granted, they're gonna be your right head profile. Now, if you're intermediate oval like I am, I would go with the Corsair X. Similar features, a little bit more race thoroughbred, but again, gonna be intermediate oval. Now, as I move to the center of my table, I have our best new entrant from a race thoroughbred standpoint. Apex Predator designed for the track. This is going to be the first helmet we're seeing out of Schubert's brand new wind tunnel in Germany. This is the Schubert SR2. New for the spring of 17, they got under the three pound mark. Two pounds, 15 ounces, DOT, ECE rated. They've refined the aerodynamic profile upgraded the ventilation scheme, and it actually became quieter. Again, so he leaped forward from Schubert, in 2017, replacing the SR1 with the SR2. Now, keep in mind as well, if you're looking at my picks today and you wanna argue with me, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback, but more importantly, you tell me what was new that I left out. Now, moving right along, I'm gonna completely go from race thoroughbred and we're gonna dip it into modular. And if you look at this helmet, you're gonna look at it and say, that looks like an off-road or adventure helmet, and that's because it is. This is the Scorpion AT950 coming in under $300, and this is, in my opinion, the best new modular on the market, because because it is going to be an adventure modular. You can see the peak, you can see the full shield, but this face flips up just like a modular would. Intermediate oval in its head shape, it's going to be, again, in the three and a half pound range, but the nice part in this category is all we typically have is a super high-end Schubert E1, which is a modular adventure, and now there's an entry-level or mid-range modular adventure here in the Scorpion 18950. And last up on our new table is a helmet that you've been hearing about for months and months and months. This is the Bell Moto 3, which is a premium retro option, fiberglass, two pounds, 13 ounces, intermediate oval head shape. Again, everything old is new again. If we're looking at classic retro inspired designs with premium forward looking protection schemes, DOT, ECE rated, again, new school technology and fit and comfort scheme, this is going to be the Bell Moto 3. It certainly comes in a multitude of colors and some graphics, but ah, we cannot help ourselves with the Revzilla Orange today. Now again, that's our top five best of what's new. You can watch detail breakdown videos. You can read rider reviews at revzilla.com slash guides. But more importantly, now let's move on to the staple picks. 
Next up, we're gonna dive into staple helmets. Remember, these are the top five helmets that have been around for more than one season in their respective categories. And kicking it off, oh, I love you, Goldilocks. You've seen this helmet before. This is the Shoei RF 1200. And unless you're a brand new rider, you know this helmet. Debuted in 2013, I consider it Goldilocks because at just over the $400 mark, it does everything well. Snell, DOT rated. It's gonna be three pounds, eight ounces. Quiet, lightweight. Take it to the track, ride it every day, ride it in sport configurations, riding it in touring configurations. It comes in a mixture of solids as well as graphics. If you have $400 to spend and you can only have one helmet, buy a Shoei RF1200, you can send me a thank you note later. Moving right along, I go from premium do-it-all really into my category of modular. This is the Schubert E1 Adventure helmet, in my opinion, the most technical and most premium modular on the market. Now we're showing you the E1 in the Adventure configuration with a peak on top that is adjustable. Drop down sun visor, flip face design, it has the premium shield, but it's really standing on the bones of the Schubert C3 Pro, which is the non-peak version, which is a little bit less expensive. So if we think about it, lightweight, quiet, ergonomic head shape, which is gonna be intermediate oval in its design. If you are looking for the best of the best from a modular standpoint, whether you go peaked with the E1 or C3 Pro for non-peaked, Schubert is going to make your best bet in 2017. Now, moving to the center of my table, I flip flop back to the race realm, but I I stay very technical. This is the HJC ARFA 11 Pro. In our opinion, the best race thoroughbred on the planet for 2017 when you consider value for dollar. Premium, DOT, three pounds, two ounces, extremely lightweight. The venting scheme on this helmet is one of the best venting schemes we've ever seen on any helmet. It's tremendous from an airflow standpoint, and yet it comes in at around $399. So when we think about Bell, we think about Arai, we think about Shoei, six, seven, eight hundred dollars to take it to the track, we have no qualms about spending 400, getting you in an ARFA 11 Pro, and you'll be extremely happy. Keep that in mind, intermediate oval in its head shape, but it is gonna be that race, more track oriented fit from HJC. Now, staying in our sport theme, now we have the Icon Armada, which is gonna be the best everyday sport riding helmet under $200. Four shell shapes, it's polycarb, it's lightweight, it's quiet. It's got a fit scheme that's very encompassing, but I will tell you, it's going to be much more long oval, so longer and narrower. It'll work if you're intermediate oval as well, but you round guys out there, don't pick this bad boy. If we look at it, premium options from Icon. You have the hydro dry lining. Again, we spoke to the fact that it's pretty lightweight, and again, four shell shapes means you're not getting any ounce of helmet you don't need, depending on the size that you are. Extremely well executed from Icon, so whether you're looking at a solid or you wanna go with one of their completely insane punch you in the mouth graphics, which they typically do. The Armada is a rock solid choice if you're in this bracket. Now, last up, we're gonna get super technical again. This is the Climb Cryos Cena 10U helmet. And again, if we look at it, you say that screams aggressive adventure. It absolutely is. It's an adventure configuration, which is the best for on-road riding, coupled with functionality from the dirt. And if we look at it, super lightweight, coming in close to the three pound mark. And there's two versions of this helmet. There's the Climb Cryos, which is around $600 using pre -pred carbon fiber, super light, intermediate oval. Again, all the solid premium functionality on the adventure side, really taking it to task with something like the Shoei Hornet or the XD4 from Arai. But then you can go to the Climb Cryos Cena 10U version, which comes with the Cena 10U pre-integrated. That's Bluetooth sharing, navigation, Bluetooth communication, rider to rider, up to four full duplex. Watch a detailed breakdown on a Cena 10U. But ultimately, if you want, you can get it right out of the box, pre-integrated, pre-installed with nothing dangling, no extra work to do. So, within the realm of staple motorcycle helmets for 2017, tried and true, multi-season tested, these are our best five as part of our best 10 moving into the full year collection. The next step in your journey, though, is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device, visit revzilla.com slash guides, read rider reviews, but most importantly, watch detailed breakdown videos on everything I've showed you today. Keep in mind, it's part of our larger gear guide series, helmets, jackets, boots, gloves, 17 total videos where we curate the best of the industry, whether you're just starting out or you're looking to upgrade. And keep in mind, we're gonna ship free over 39 bucks. If you wanna to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our 2017 Motorcycle Helmet Gear Guide at revzilla.com. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.